something different. You don't have to match anymore. Fashion has gotten to a point where you can mix and match and still look great. Well, this man has definitely got the look, whether it's on a date or just to hang out with friends. The Humanities Communication Arts Department at Oral Community College presents The New Directors, the show that introduces you to television's future writers, directors, and personalities. And now, join your host, Zoe Bernard, to meet the next new director. Thank you for joining us for today's edition of The New Directors. All of the people involved with this program are students in the television production course and are directing, switching, controlling audio, operating cameras, and acting as talent for the first time today. The guests you are about to meet are students who, when not on camera, are behind the scenes working hard to bring this program to you with as few mistakes as possible. Each student will write and direct four different productions. This program will give them the chance to talk about themselves, the productions they have completed, and give you the chance to get to know them and watch their progress throughout the semester. Our guest today is a person that loves fashion and all the different looks fashion has to offer. Nowadays, you don't have one certain way of looking. You can mix, match, and even look funny. It's not only the basics anymore. There are so many different looks now, and here to show you some of those looks are our guests, Jarrett Williams. So we know you know fashion, but what can you tell us more about it and what you bring to fashion? Um, with uh, fashion, it comes with uh, a lot of responsibility because you can't look bad, but you can also make it look different. And um, there's different ways of looking and having different outfits because you can be funky, you could be urban, you can be old fashioned like I am. I like to wear old-fashioned hats. It's more of my thing, like fedoras and um, old paperboy hats. And I like to wear all type of hat anyway, but that's kind of this fashion. But um, yeah, you know, it's pretty fashionable. Can you go into my pictures? Pictures. In this one, I'm wearing my fedora hat with my button-up t-shirt. Um, my friend is wearing a button-up with blazer pants, dress shoes, uh, jean shirts always are in with khakis. Uh, Ray-Bans always a plus when you're going out. Sweaters, cargo pants, nice watch, always a big one. Um, flannels are very much in right now. Keep yourself warm, you could also wear ties. Chukka boots. Fashionable, always looking out. Sneakers, sneakers, I'm, always, I'm a big sneaker head, so always gotta be fresh with new sneakers. Again, with the button up, uh, jean with sneakers, there's nothing like a trench coat when you're going out in the streets when it's cold outside. Ray Bans, the Malcolm X Ray Bans too, always look fly. I have those, welfare sunglasses. Joggers, cold, keep you warm, cool. This one, wearing boat shoes, cargo pants, t shirt, and Ray Bans. Um, dressed up, casual, glasses, nice haircut, and a nice uh, jacket. Um, we went to an all-white party, so I changed it up with uh, different shoes. Uh, all my friends are wearing sneakers, and, yeah, and boat shoes, always a plus for the, win for the summer. And like I said, jean uh, t-shirts, always a plus. Six panel hats, you can wear those anywhere anything. Tim's always need those in the winter because it gets cold, you can also wear them in the summer. Dress boots, always need dress boots. Um, and this one, uh, just showing all the fashions all together. Uh, basics, shoes, classy, but uh, fashion you wear them. Always need a watch, always, when you're going out. Bow ties, yes, always need a bow tie. Uh, you don't have to buy that type of belt, but always, always have a belt on, no sag anymore. My friend right here is wearing, like I said, dress shoes with a nice button up and cargo pants always in. Could you tell us why you decided to take the TV production course? 
I decided to take uh, the TV One course because I could see this as a future job and I wanted to try something different besides what I do outside of school and I wanted to um, know about Avid because I've never used Avid before, before this class and how to use it professionally and edit all of my stuff this semester. I've really learned a lot about how to put everything together and I also learned how to use the stand to hold up the, um, the camera because a great teacher told me um, you don't want to have it without a stand because it would just look like a home made movie and you want it to look professionally done when you go out and when you're trying to get um, your uh, stuff done. So. What are some of the most useful things you have learned in the TV production course? I learned how fast the production can go. Um, it's not uh, something you need to mess with because if you don't have your stuff in on time, that could be the end of your job, that could be the end of everything that you're doing. So um, we did uh, storyboards, scripting, created sequences, um, how to use cameras from the poor man's resolve, um, and uh, yeah. Tell us about the productions you created for the TV One class. The Learning Project, the Action Sequence, New England Fall Foliage, and the Orange Project. Um, with uh, the first project, that was the first time we actually got to use the cameras and got to be with talent. And I learned like long shots um, over the shoulder and then we did uh, the T where I had to, I did a poor man's dissolve in this one and for my fall I used, uh, Jesus, um, we used shapes and triangles, uh, uh, and, uh, I used, uh, different, uh, placements of the camera and, uh, that's it. Best project is the best project. And uh, yeah. I use uh, ports on the lines for this too. And uh, lines of uh, lines and uh, lines of grace. Now I know you had one project that you felt was your best. Tell us about it while we watch a sample of the video with the music you selected. Um, my last one I did was, uh, my best one I think was my uh, fall foliage because uh, we, I, felt, I felt a little bit more free about doing it and it didn't have to be a certain way. You could go out and take, uh, like I did a triangle in that one with the bridge and uh, I did a lot of horizontal lines and vertical lines and um, uh, lines of grace. Uh, I really took my time and did this one because I really learned how to use the camera and how to use, um, how to use like we had, I put, I made sure I had S S S shapes and C shapes in it for the catch the eye and I like to be in nature anyway, so it was a great experience to do this project and to, to work on it. You mentioned the variety of things you have learned in this course. What was the most interesting and important skill you learned and how will you put it to use? Um, avid. It was avid. And then it was also the production side of it, and I learned a lot from my uh, from my teacher because he was really strict, and how everything had to be on time, and how just not um, messing up with your work and always being positive about everything. And I learned a lot from my teacher this semester because uh, he was a little hard on me, but. Uh, 
of, like I said, the vertical lines from catching uh, lines of grace to um, avid um, to merging objects to um, framing to diagrams. He taught us everything that we need to know. And I would uh, really like to thank my teacher for helping me learn not only about the lighting side of it, because um, I want to be a lighting director when I uh, graduate from NCC. I also learned how to make my own films. So not only do I, not only can I have one thing I'm good at, I can also have multiple things that I'm good at. So, yeah. Today we got to meet someone who loves fashion and all it can do for a person. I would like to thank our guest Jared Williams for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed meeting some of television's future directors and we hope you will continue to join us each week to watch our progress. Thank you and good day. With your host, Andrea Ojeda, directed by Daryl Hall, switcher James Bell, audio teleprompter Zoe Bernard, evidence CG Diego Vidal, I'm your announcer Raul Camino. The New Directors is a Norwalk Community College student production.